The two-sample t-test is used for testing two means when population standard deviations are unknown. To find it on the TI calculator, go to STAT, over to TEST, and then down to two-sample t-test. In this problem, we are given summary statistics. You can also be given data, and you will enter this in under STAT, EDIT, LIST1, and LIST2. Two factories claim to produce bolts of the same length. The bolts from both factories are normally distributed. A sample of 40 bolts from the first factory had a mean of 2.3 inches and a standard deviation of 0.2 inches. First, we can enter in the mean for factory 1, and next, the standard deviation for factory 1, and finally, the sample size for factory 1. A sample of 30 bolts from the second factory had a mean of 2.25 inches and a standard deviation of 0.3 inches. Here is the sample mean for factory 2, the sample standard deviation for factory 2, and the sample size for factory 2. To figure out the alternative to the question, we must look at the question itself. Is there evidence to suggest a difference? We will test the alternative that the true mean length from factory 1 is not equal to the true mean length from factory 2, so make sure to select the first option here, which is the correct alternative hypothesis. In this problem, we will use a non-pooled t because there is no evidence to suggest that the variances are equal and we could use a pooled t. Finally, we can go over to draw to see our results on the t distribution. The calculator will draw the t distribution for us and show us the t statistic with the p-value associated with it. Our t statistic from this test is 0.79, which is very close to the center of the distribution, which gives us a high two-tailed p-value of 0.4331. In this test, we would fail to reject the null hypothesis and not have evidence for a difference between the average bolt length from factory one and the average bolt length of factory two.